Hi, Harda Gaura. And I think I pronounced so your name. Just, just, uh, Hardagna. It's Hardagna. Hardagna Ora. Okay, fine. And oh, uh, hearty welcome to Joel Jonjay YouTube channel. And as we got uh, introduced in uh, LinkedIn, you know, when yeah. looking at your uh, qualification as mathematical biology, that's the first time I know that there is a field called as mathematical biology. So I thought, okay, let's bring this uh, to the notice of our uh, viewers as well. So I request you to introduce yourself uh, to my to those who view this video on Joel Janja YouTube channel as well. Please go ahead with your self introduction. So myself Hardagna Vora, and I am pursuing PhD in the uh, Pandit Dindal Energy University from Gujarat Gandhi Nagar. And uh, I have chosen the mathematical biology subject. And broader area we will discuss with you. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, when you came to know about this uh, mathematical biology, uh, and what created an interest towards this subject when you came to know about this? So after completing my master's, I was searching for further opportunities. Meanwhile, I was interested in something biological problems. So I'm dipping uh, deep down to the search areas, wider areas. And then I come to know some research paper from my guide and others also. But I really like work on the uh, pursuing they uh, work on do. And uh, it is very interesting that neurons can also be formulated with the mathematical uh, equations. That is, I'm very much interested, interested and I want to further pursue this work. Okay. So, like, uh, you came to know only when you do your PhD. So, your BSc and MSc, you did in biology or? No, nothing connected connection with the biology. So, what you did in your BSc and MSc? What's it your major? Ma uh, major course was the mathematics, nothing else. So, you did mathematics in BSc and MSc. And after that, on PhD, you were doing uh, mathematical biology. Okay, so great to know about that. And uh, so it's your research topic, right? And uh, what are all the yeah. interesting things you study in this research topic on mathematical biology? Uh, mathematical biology has very wide area, like epidemiology, like COVID. We can predict, say, something about how it will gonna wave come soon and uh, how it will be gonna long impact our lives, like how much. Uh, uh, uh infections we can uh, we can uh, predict or uh, how much data we can generate after the prediction also the vaccine also use the how much dosage or something we can improve further also drugs are used uh, in the drugs mathematical modeling also used to determine how much drugs quantity should be uh, optimized used for the to uh, mitigate the disease or something else. There is wider area, epidemiology, ecology, ecology like uh, we can uh, formulate how how much species gonna survive for the uh, adverse, uh, adverse area like lions or something which is cheetah. Uh, we can also formulate how much habitation it needs, how much we can uh, carry for them to optimize their livelihood better livelihood so you it's like calculating how much medicine is required or uh, how much uh, days a pandemic will run or how long we have yes, to vaccinate sir. the people and what are all the yes, turns which comes around okay that's really great to know because we people know that doctors give us the solution but we don't know how much research is you know happening behind the screen so that everything goes yes, right because we really... background the, there is mathematics also but major work from the doctors and chemists and some researchers so interdisciplinary there is no bifurcation like chemistry biology or mathematics we are all one yeah that's really great to know because uh, you know the general people view is like mathematics for engineering and biology for doctor that's how our school yes. groups <laughs> divide right so that's what the broad spectrum of knowledge is and uh, can you talk about something about your research and what's uh, the interesting part in your research? Yes, definitely. So my research work is focused, focused on uh, 
neuronal cell. We know our brain as a major building block is the neurons. And in this uh, neuron, we have many ions. And uh, in the ions, uh, we have focus on the calcium. So we uh, formulate the how calcium will behave and how flux uh, will impact the neurons and disease if uh, calcium will be uh, uh, decreased or increased, how much neurons will be the impacted by this effect. And we can say uh, how much drug or buffer can be implicate uh, this phenomena in the neurons. And we can say any neuro neurodegeneration can impact the neuronal disease like Alzheimer, Parkinson. So there are uh, also other diseases like epi uh, epilepsy and uh, Huntington disease. So there are more scope than we th thought, but there is a lot more work to do on this area also. Also, uh, we can operate. Uh, there are many mathematical models like Hodgkin Oxley model. Uh, Lee Rinzel model, fire, fire spike, fire neuronal models. So there are many types of mathematical model in which neuronal are uh, formulated and mathematical just provide the backbone for this such uh, phenomena. So we can formulate how any neuron can impact uh, by these such factors. Okay, that's so great to know. And uh, can you tell about some general applications, like general areas where the mathematical biology is applied in medical uh, or you know or our day-to-day -day science like dairy science or our veterinary science or the food we consume on that part. Uh, yes definitely as I've said so drug a particular dosage can be formatted otherwise uh, we don't know optimization like uh, uh, broadly uh, mathematics can uh, reduce your iteration like uh, uh, number of reaction or number of uh, medical, it is very costly to repeat uh, every uh, every experiment to number of times. But mathematics can easy easily reduce your experiment by uh, very low lower uh, experiment. So we can from this uh, lower experiment we can formulate further application for and uh, if we want to modify the experiment based on mathematical model it is very easy to uh, formulate that phenomena so we can uh, see the uh, proper chemical impact on the drugs or the disease so uh, there is a very uh, uh, resource saving uh, mathematical approach we can use in daily life but it is part uh, part of many research and uh, there is epidemiology or uh, ecology. We also formulate our how to sustain our energy and ecology to the real life, real life cycle. Okay, that's really great to know that. And what I understood was your uh, field of study, mathematical biology, is saving a lot of cost on uh, research R and D area, right? Because once we do a particular uh, research and they get the finding using mathematical modules they can have more number of similar findings. So there's no need to repeat yes. the research. I think that's the point of that. And also the R&D cost and the patent rights. So I think for 15 years, a company will hold the patent right. Still that uh, they yes. have to take out the R&D cost. If the R&D cost is high, automatically the medicine price and the end product for the consumers are going to be high. So your mathematical uh, biology field contribution is really high on this. And for people who are listening to this on podcast, you can type as Joel John G YouTube channel and uh, find out this video on the videos tab. And uh, Hardengan, right? Hardengan. 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 So uh, from your side also, I expect you to uh, say bye to our yes. viewers and also ask them to subscribe and support my channel. Yes, definitely. Bye-bye to the viewers and this creative YouTube channel. So I, also, I will also share and please you also all share like and subscribe thank you so much okay thank you for this opportunity okay so it's my pleasure to have a person like you in this i was long thinking of you know doing some interview but nothing shaked your shaked my mind when i saw your you know research area as mathematical biology you know i found something very new so you are the first person whom i am interviewing through zoom and uh, releasing this video and uh, by coming wednesday i'll be releasing this video 
so thank you very much for your time and also in future if i get to know more people like you i'll be trying out uh, doing these kinds of interview okay bye bye viewers bye bye thank you i'm just going to end this recording